Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli, and in today's demo, we will be talking about how we're going to use the AWS Signer service for our Lambda function, where we will be signing our uh, Lambda function so that we trust our code, which we run in our Lambda functions, right? So it is basically a fully managed code signing service that can be used to verify the integrity of your Lambda code. So your, before you deploy your code, AWS Lambda will perform a series of validation checks which will determine whether to accept or reject uh, the deployment package, okay? So you will work in the AWS console. So there's nothing, um, there's no code uh, available. It's a basic Lambda Python code that I'm going to use it from my GitHub. Uh, so I'm gonna provide that URL in the description box below. So this will cover the signature validation process in detail and also includes validation checks, okay? So after completing this lab, you should be able to understand how to prepare an S3 bucket to store the signed assets. Also, you can, uh, also you will understand how to create a signing profile, AWS signing profile. And also you should be able to configure a Lambda function coding, code signing configuration. And uh, also you should be able to initiate the signing job. Okay, so this uh, demo is for cloud architects and DevOps engineers or software engineers, whoever would like to learn more about the AWS signing service and who who wants to write a more, you know, trustworthy code. So you're welcome to watch this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel and also like the video if you like it. And uh, yeah, let's begin the demo. So I've already logged into the uh, console here. Okay, so I go to my S3 bucket so I've created a sample bucket. So this is my sample AWS uh, signer bucket. So if I click on that, so make sure you just create a, a random bucket, okay? And also if you go to the properties here, you should also enable the bucket versioning, okay? So we will use the same bucket um, for signed code and unsigned code, okay? So we'll create a folder called signed. Okay, so there's no encryption key for this. Just go ahead and click on create folder. So you have the signed um, folder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna upload a sample handler Python function here um, with a zip file, okay? And if you expand the properties, uh, maybe permissions, I don't think you need any permissions for now, or maybe destination details. No, I don't think you need any of these. So we have uploaded the zip file and now click on upload. Yeah, that's fine. So we have uploaded our code. Also make sure you, uh, you know, disable the public access. Okay. And then just for the demo, it's fine if you want to uh, disable the, you know, the public access, but for now let's, let's do it with uh, bucket permissions on and if you go to AWS signer, we'll be creating a signing profile here. So it's gonna be signing profile. So the staging platform is going to be, signing platform is going to be AWS Lambda. And you can leave these um, and click on create profile. So we have successfully created our signing profile, like you see here, and you can start the signing job and choose the signing profile that you have created. So this is the signing profile and the S3 bucket. So go to the S3 bucket. That's going to load a load of buckets because I have a whole bunch of buckets. So just click on the AWS signer and then choose the sample handler Python function. Okay, just choose it. And then let's browse, this is the destination. So basically we have given a source location here. This is the code that I want to deploy to my Lambda function uh, with signed capabilities. And uh, after once it is signed, I would like to store that in the same S3 bucket. You can see the destination and path and prefix. So you can choose another S3 bucket if you want, but in my case, I'm choosing the same bucket. So browse S3, you go to the um, sample AWS signer, uh, maybe 
click on that and select the folder is signed and choose and that should be fine that looks okay and now choose the version here that's the version object version now start the job so now you have successfully started the signing job okay this is the id and uh, mm, just refresh it so it should be succeeded and also the signature status should be active and then if you go back to the s3 sample aws signer if you go to the signed bucket so you can see that the signed job has performed so you can see your signed code okay so with this sign code what we are going to do is we will go and configure our uh, uh, code signing for the aws lambda function okay so if you go to this and uh, click on this object like you call object in the s3 so now copy the object url from here okay and go to lambda i have lambda shortcut here i'm just going to click on lambda and we will be creating our function i have a whole bunch of lambda functions i'm going to oops i'm going to create a function other from scratch um sample python signer okay so that's my lambda function and i'm going to select python uh, anything 3.9 so that should be fine and expand it change default execution role use an existing role and i will choose lambda execution role um, so basically this role i have created um, just to make sure that we will be able to uh, you know um, define the permission for our functions okay so given in the lambda execution role just create a function okay so i've just created a function Uh, or maybe just go back functions sample python signer so just click on that uh, delete that i'm going to show you in another way just click on delete okay so now let's create a function which is sample python signer and select the python version choose the default execution role in my case it is lambda execution rule all right and uh, click on additional configurations enable so you can see the option here enable code signing so maybe yeah enable code signing now select on the enable code signing choose the signing configuration uh, click on the create new configuration here description um, you can put something like uh, simple lambda code signing and then the profile version this is my signing profile version that i have created earlier and then enforce so basically it blocks deployments when code is signed by an unapproved profile so or if signature is expired or something like that okay and then you select the amazon s3 so previously you have copied the object url okay select aws s3 and paste the object url over here and we can now go ahead and create the function okay so now basically it has successfully created a function close these notifications so you can see your function has signed code and code cannot be edited online so if you can uh, you know pick up the this is basically the signed code right so if you try to upload the you know uh, the unsigned code so how can we do that from a zip file so i'm going to drag the same file that i've uploaded okay um paste it enable you don't need this option so click on sign see that throws an error basically the function uh, the zip file that i've uploaded is unsigned so the function or the layer might be signed using a signature that the client is not configured to accept so basically i have uploaded a zip file which is not signed so so this is how we can make sure our code is uh, trustworthy and also basically the goal of the code signing is to ensure only trusted code runs in the aws lambda function this is how you will make sure that you run only signed code only trusted code okay so 
the point of this uh, demo is not to execute this function. Basically, you you want to see how you can use AWS Signer to you know uh, upload your Lambda function code. Okay, so this is a good practice. Uh, like I say always, uh, mm -hmm. this is how we have done it. Basically, we have uploaded the zip file uh, to the AWS uh, S3, and then we have used the Signer service to pull the uh, code from the S3 bucket and sign it and put it back into the S3 bucket and then uh, create a Lambda function using the uh, signer. Okay. I hope you understood the demo and if you like it, please don't forget to like the video and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's very, very important for me to create more such videos. Um, yeah, that's it. And thank you guys. And I will see you in the next one.